hello everybody welcome to another vlog so as you can see if you have been visiting my channel you would notice that i've been posting about travel vlogs but pagkatapos ng four episodes ng travel vlog i will also be uploading diy projects and also uh, interior design projects that i've been doing uh, since last year. So, since malaki yung house, talagang maraming kailangan gawin, and it really takes time for it to be completed. So, I will also be publishing a video about that soon. So, if you want to know more about that project, and if you want to see how I do interior design projects as well, just click the notification bell for more updates on new uploaded videos. Now, let's talk about this episode. So, since natapat yung flight namin on a Friday, we needed to make sure na may iwasan namin yung traffic by leaving the house early. Boarding time met the schedule, pero we waited for about almost two, uh, almost two hours. Kami naghintay sa loob ng plane just for the plane to take off. So, napabili pa talaga kami ng pagkain. Nagutom kami mga best. So, 3 p.m. na kami nakarating ng Airbnb. Pumaba lang kami ng sister ko to find a convenience store. And para bumili ng drinking water, bread, and other necessities. So, syempre, nag-side trip muna kami sa mga pungko-pungko. Kasi dun sa area ng Airbnb namin, maraming pungko-pungko. Saka syempre yung fishbowl. Hindi <laughs> talaga may iwasan ng fishbowl. So... Nag-side trip muna kami doon kasi bawal nga yung kila mami sa kay daddy. Kaya tumakas kami ng very, very light. So, um, again, syempre sa travel vlog na to, hindi mawawala ang uh, guidelines or my travel tips. Right? So, first one, elevator ulit. So, kailangan mga besh, merong elevator kasi pag, if you are traveling with seniors, kailangan talaga merong elevator para hindi sila may hirapan. And, uh, another guideline, second one, is you need to bring refillable water container para pwede mo siyang dalin kahit saan. And at least makakatulong ka rin sa environment kasi hindi ka bilin ng bilin ng uh, plastic bottle water container na itatapon mo lang din sa huli. And third, if you're traveling with seniors, kailangan huwag kakalimutan ang senior ID kasi uh, seniors would actually have, uh, from what I remember, 20% discount on uh, regular domestic flights. And also, syempre, yung uh, senior card would also entitle them for discounts sa food and entrance kung pupunta kayo ng mga museums or mag-city mag mag tour kayo. Kung mag-city tour kayo sa Cebu, uh, there are a lot of uh, entrance fee that you need to need to pay. So, makakatulong ng malaki kung yung mga seniors ay dala ang mahiwagang senior ID. So, four, dapat malapit sa convenience store at kainan. Since Friday to Monday yung stay namin sa Cebu, um, sakto kasi pagbaba lang namin ng unit for our Airbnb, uh, nandun agad yung um, Sugbo Mercado. So, I will be also sharing a video about Sugbo Mercado. So, it's actually open from 5 p.m. until 3 a.m. in the morning, from Friday until Sunday. Fifth tip is you need to rent out a car and a driver if you will be going on a city tour para mas convenient especially if you're traveling with um, with seniors you need to make sure that they are comfortable diba so guys di ko na patatagalin here's the video enjoy there are a lot of places in the philippines that are underrated isa na dito ang lugar sa central visayas na mayaman sa kultura at kasaysayan where philippines christianity all started Cebu 
Our first stop is Magellan's Cross. A Tendalo wood cross was used to protect the original cross that Ferdinand Magellan planted in 1521. A few steps away from the Magellan's Cross, you can find Santo Niño Basilica. Ito ang pinakamatandang Catholic Church dito sa Pilipinas. Itinayo ito sa parehong lugar kung saan muling natagpuan ang imahe ng Santo Niño de Cebu, na unang ibinigay ni Magellan kay Queen Juana. In terms of architecture, Ang basilika ay sumasalamin sa earthquake baroque style. Yes, you heard me right. This is a form of architecture that rebuilds structures which suffer destructive earthquakes into a baroque style. So makikita mo na ang proportion ng bawat simbahan ay mas mababa at mas malawa. It's heavily buttressed and walls are made thicker for better stability. Ang Fort San Pedro ay itanayo bilang isang military defense structure sa Cebu. It has a triangular shape with two sides facing the sea and the third side fronting the land. The massive structures that still stands up to this day were built with a mixture of sand, corals, and egg whites. It also housed Pozo de la Virgen, which they believe as a miraculous well, where they found a pure gold image of the Virgin Mary. Unfortunately, the image was stolen. What they have now is just a replica of the said image. So, these are inspired paintings of F, uh, F, Panua, Emmanuel F. Panieras, um, based on the letter na sinulat ni Antonio Villoneta. So, this is Lapu-Lapu, he's the king of Mactan. Kasi sa letter kasi, parang nilagay nila na maki yung braso niya, parang in-imagine na lang niya ano, yung mukha. He's the king of Mactan, and then as you can see, he got lots of triangle tattoos. That means the number of people na pinatay niya. So we celebrate Sinulog Festival because of the Santa Nidio. And the Holy Child every third Sunday of January. So this is the barter between Spaniards and Filipinos. So Filipinos give um, food to the Spaniards, barter trade, gives food to the Spaniards while Spaniards give spices to the Filipinos. Para Barco, na pumunta dito sa Filipinas. So, um, it is La Concepcion, La Victoria, and then Santiago and San Miguel. And then before you, if you have this in your backyard, you came from a wealthy family. And it's called and then, Tugas. During, um, um, before, po, yung mga structure nila is walang masyadong nails, tsaka dikit-dikit lang yung kahoy. Before, kasi <laughs> mga plastic containers, um, they use bamboo to catch water. And then, yan po, um, they stock water. Oh, they, they stock water kasi uh, malamig siya. So, for
bus driver or taxi driver. So, meron po siyang mga um, saint or uh, angel na nakalagay dyan. Kasi, they believe po noon yung mga Spaniards, parang protection nila. Kasi, um, anytime meron pong mga enemy na papunta, Sa <laughs> baba? May exam pala? O oh, mami, natatandaan mo ba yung mga sinabi kanina? The Yap San Diego Ancestral House was one of the oldest houses in the Philippines, which was built in the late 17th century. It was originally the house of Don Juan Yap and Doña Maria Florido, but became the residence of their eldest daughter, Maria Florida Yap, who was married to the Cabeza de Barangay of Parian, Don Mariano San Diego. The ancestral home was carefully preserved and restored with the help of coral stones glued with egg whites, molabe, balayong, and terracotta. Surprisingly, the guides were trained to capture great photos from the inside of the house. 